the Logitech MX Master 3S, Logitech Lift, Razer Orochi Viv 2, Logitech G600, and SteelSeries Aerox 9 are the most popular productivity mice of 2025. But which is the absolute best? We are going to compare them to each other and score them in various categories, with some categories holding more weight than others. In the end, we'll decide which is the best one based on the final score, and we will declare the absolute winner. Let's dive in. First, we are going to compare them on the ergonomics category, which has a multiplier of two. The MX Master 3S is quite a large mouse that's perfect for palm grip users, offering exceptional comfort during long work sessions with its sculpted right-handed shape and soft touch texture. Though at 141 grams, it might be too heavy for some users who prefer quick movements. The thumb rest and dual scroll wheels make it incredibly comfortable for office work, earning it 8 out of 10. The Logitech Lift features an unconventional vertical design that completely changes how you hold your mouse, which successfully removes pressure from the bottom of your wrist, but may simply relocate discomfort to a different spot. While it's great for small hands, larger-handed users might want to look elsewhere, giving it 7 out of 10. I found the Orochi 5 II to be incredibly versatile with its false ambidextrous design that works well with all grip styles for medium to large hands, though left-handed users might struggle with the side buttons when using a palm grip. The compact form factor and lightweight design make it comfortable for extended use, scoring 8.5 out of 10. The G600 is a delight for palm grip users with its substantial feel and 133 gram weight, but the tall design to accommodate the 12 thumb buttons makes it completely unsuitable for claw or fingertip grip users. The lack of a thumb groove and the requirement to stretch fingers across the mouse makes it somewhat limiting, earning 7.5 out of 10. The Aerox 9 impresses with its ultralight 89 gram weight and the honeycomb design that provides excellent grip, while the IP54 rating ensures durability to despite the perforated shell. The comfortable shell works perfectly for palm grip users, and the smooth PTFE feet make it a joy to use, securing 9 out of 10. The Aerox 9 takes the crown in ergonomics with 9 points, proving that you can pack tons of features into an ultralight frame without sacrificing comfort. Next, we are going to compare them on the programmable buttons category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. The X Master 3S offers decent programmability with customizable buttons and two scroll wheels that can be configured for different functions per application, though I found the thumb button button placement to be a bit awkward to reach naturally during daily use. While the Options Plus software provides extensive customization options, the left and right click buttons aren't programmable, which limits its overall flexibility, giving it 7 out of 10. The Logitech Lift comes with 6 buttons, 4 of which are programmable, and while the Options Plus software allows for extensive customization, including app-specific profiles, I found the DPI button under the scroll wheel to be awkwardly placed and uncomfortable to use regularly. The quiet clicks are pleasant for office use, but might feel a bit mushy if you're used to more tactile tactile feedback, earning it 6 out of 10. The Razer Orochi 5. Two features six programmable buttons that can be configured through Razer Synapse, and I particularly enjoyed the Hypershift feature that adds an extra layer of functions, though I noticed the thumb buttons are only accessible for right-handed users. The primary buttons use Razer's second-generation mechanical switches, rated for 60 million clicks, making it worthy of 7.5 out of 10. The Logitech G600 impressed me with its incredible 20 buttons, 18 of which are programmable, and the genius G-Shift feature that effectively doubles your button count to 108, though I found switching between stored profiles during gameplay to be somewhat cumbersome. The software offers deep customization, including per-game profiles and LED color coding, securing it 9 out of 10. The SteelSeries Aerox 9 comes with a whopping 12 side buttons in a familiar grid layout, but during intense gaming sessions, I struggled to distinguish between buttons as they felt too similar, with only the number 5 button having a small orientation bump. While the SteelSeries engine software offers good customization options, the button's lack of tactile differentiation makes it hard to use effectively, resulting in 8 out of 10. The Logitech G600 dominates the programmable buttons category with 9 points, thanks to its unmatched combination of physical buttons and the revolutionary G-Shift feature that transforms it into a productivity powerhouse. Next, we are going to compare them on the DPI sensitivity category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. The MX Master 3S features Logitech's most accurate sensor ever, with an impressive range of 200 to 8,000 DPI that can be adjusted in 50 DPI increments, making it incredibly versatile for productivity tasks. While it tracks exceptionally well, even on glass surfaces, the maximum DPI might feel limiting for users who prefer ultra-high sensitivity settings. 7 out of 10. The Logitech Lift comes with a decent sensitivity range of 400 to 4,000 DPI, which I found perfectly adequate for daily office work and casual use. However, I noticed some friction issues on certain surfaces, and the DPI range is quite limited compared to other mice in this comparison. 6 out of 10. The Razer Orochi 5 II really impressed me with its 5G optical sensor boasting an incredible 18,000 DPI maximum sensitivity and 99.4% resolution accuracy 
allowing for extremely precise cursor control. The five-stage DPI sensitivity adjustment through Razer Synapse gives amazing flexibility, though I found myself rarely using the highest settings in practice, eight out of 10. The G600 sensor offers a solid range from 200 to 8,200 DPI, which I found more than sufficient for both work and gaming scenarios. While the sensor performs reliably, I noticed it falls behind in terms of IPS, inches per second, tracking speed at 160, which might affect quick movements, 7.5 out of 10. The Aerox 9 absolutely dominates with its TrueMove Air sensor offering 100 to 18,000 DPI in precise 100 DPI increments, and I was blown away by its 400 IPS tracking speed on QCK surfaces, making it incredibly responsive and accurate. The zero hardware acceleration ensures every movement translates exactly as intended, though such precision might be over overkill for regular productivity work. 9 out of 10. The Arox 9 takes the crown in DPI sensitivity with 9 points, combining high precision with incredible tracking speed and zero acceleration, proving that gaming mice can excel in productivity tasks too. Next, we are going to compare them on the connectivity category, which has a multiplier of 2. The MX Master 3S offers seamless connectivity with up to 3 devices simultaneously through both Bluetooth and USB wireless, making switching between them incredibly fast and intuitive with just a small button press. However, I noticed some occasional connectivity hiccups when using multiple wireless devices simultaneously. So it wasn't a deal breaker, 8 out of 10. The Logitech Lift impresses with its vast wireless range of up to 10 meters via both Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz connections. And I particularly love how the flow function lets you move between devices just by pushing the cursor to the screen edge. The connectivity button placement could be better though, as it's a bit awkward to reach, 7 out of 10. The Orochi 5.2 really surprised me with its dual wireless capabilities, offering both Bluetooth 5.1 and USB dongle connectivity that worked flawlessly during my testing period, even alongside other wireless peripherals. The only downside I found was that there's no wired option as a backup, but the wireless performance was so good I barely noticed. 8.5 out of 10. The G600 feels a bit dated with its wired-only connection, though I must say, the 6.89 feet cable length gives plenty of freedom of movement, and the 1000 Hz polling rate ensures every command is executed instantly. Still, being tethered to my desk in 2024 feels quite limiting, 6 out of 10. The Aerox 9 absolutely nails connectivity with both USB dongle and Bluetooth options that work perfectly, and I especially appreciate how easy it is to switch between devices throughout my workday. The battery life tracking can be a bit wonky in the software, but with up to 180 hours of use, I rarely had to worry about it, 9 out of 10. The SteelSeries Aerox 9 takes the crown in connectivity with a solid 9 points, thanks to its reliable dual wireless connectivity options and impressive battery life that kept me productive through weeks of heavy use. Finally, we are going to compare them on the price to performance ratio category, which has a multiplier of 3. The MX Master 3S offers premium features like quiet clicking and excellent ergonomics, but I found the 125Hz polling rate to be quite limiting compared to gaming mice, and the battery life of around 4 weeks isn't particularly impressive for its class, 7 out of 10. The Logitech Lift brings fantastic ergonomics and customizable buttons in a compact form factor, though I noticed the non-rechargeable battery system feels outdated, and the software still has some kinks to work out, 8 out of 10. The Razer Orochi 5 II impressed me with its lightweight design and excellent battery life reaching up to 950 hours, however. I experienced some concerning wireless connectivity issues and DPI variants that made it feel more sensitive than it should, 7.5 out of 10. The Logitech G600 delivers incredible value with its 20 programmable buttons and solid build quality, and while the scroll wheel feels a bit dated and the side buttons get warm during extended use, it's still a remarkably capable mouse for its price point, 8.5 out of 10. The SteelSeries Aerox 9 combines premium features like PTFE feet and excellent switches with a lightweight design that prevents fatigue during long sessions, though the varying tactility of the side buttons and bloated software hold it back from perfection, 9 out of 10. The Aerox 9 takes the crown with 9 points by masterfully balancing premium features with practical design choices, proving that you don't need to sacrifice performance for comfort. The results of our comparison show each product shines in its own way, but the SteelSeries Aerox 9 stands out with its score of 88.5. Having personally tested each of these mice extensively, I can confidently say the Aerox 9 delivers unmatched versatility. Its combination of ergonomic comfort, precise DPI sensitivity, and robust connectivity options makes it an incredible choice for both productivity and gaming. The lightweight design reduces hand fatigue during long sessions, and the premium features, such as PTFE feet and excellent switches, provide an edge in both user 
user experience and pricing performance. The AROX 9 truly embodies a synergy of form and function, proving it doesn't compromise on performance while maintaining comfort. While the SteelSeries AROX 9 takes the crown, the other mice in this lineup also have their own unique advantages. The Razer Orochi 5 II proved to be incredibly versatile with its excellent battery life and lightweight design, earning it a solid score of 79.75. Close behind, the Logitech G600 excelled with its programmable buttons and impressive price-to-performance ratio. The Logitech MX Master 3S offered premium ergonomics, but was slightly edged out by connectivity nuances. Lastly, the Logitech Lift's ergonomic vertical design appealed to those needing a wrist-friendly alternative. Each of these mice has contributed something distinct to the market, and depending on your specific needs, one of them might be the perfect match for you.